Welcome, welcome, welcome back, you guys. The fish tanks are cool. We have an amazing thing going on in the tank right now. Um, super, super duper excited about this. It was um, a blessing, really, to come across this this morning. Um, not only did these two angelfish pair, but they laid eggs. She laid some eggs, and they, he's been fertilizing them. Uh... All morning. Uh, I'm assuming it started uh, probably 6 or 7 o'clock uh, when the light turns on. And, you know, now it's about 12, 1 o'clock-ish. I, I can't see right now. But I was simply looking at this hornwort and looking how much it's grown. And looking at the oxygen bubbles it's putting out. And that's when I just like blinked and looked over in the corner and just seen this massive wad of babies. Look at all these eggs. I'm so excited. Uh, now, I had no idea that I had a female and a male. And then there's one more angelfish in this tank, which I'm not sure what it is. But both of them are keeping it away from this. They're keeping all the fish in here to the best of their abilities away from this nest. It is awesome. He's just going to keep going up. The male is the stripe. The female is the marble. And she's going to go lay the eggs. And he's just going to go right right behind her. A couple seconds after. And he's going to fertilize right where she just dropped some new eggs. Now these are new breeders. Um, I had them. Got them both. The, they were about the size of quarters. Uh, so the growth in these guys has been awesome now. They were in a separate, they were in a 40 gallon uh, stand up. It was taller. And they were in there with about six other angelfish. And, you know, all of them have been together for months, like at least six to eight months, probably a bit longer. Now, in the last two months, I, uh, I took these two and I put them in my newly established planted tank. And sure enough, this is crazy. It was the last thing I was expecting to breed in this tank. Um, you know, we have some Danios in here that have been spawning. Tiger barbs, um, they're looking super plump. Uh, black mollies, you know, I, I kind of assumed I bought the black mollies. We got them just, just so they could have babies. The last thing I was thinking was going to be these guys. And this is just going to be an amazing batch of babies. Like, I'm so excited, and I hope everything goes right uh, with this. So, yeah. Just want to get you guys an update. Um, now, what they're going to do is they're going to constantly go up to these eggs after they're finished laying them and they're done fertilizing them. Now, they've been going at it for probably four, five, six hours. Who knows exactly? Um... I'm assuming they started when the light turned on or around that time because they weren't there yesterday. So we'll see. But this is just awesome. And they're going to use their, um, they're going to use their fins and they're going to go up and they're going to fan these eggs, uh, you know, keeping funguses from growing on them, uh, giving them oxygen and keeping just new good water coming towards them. So they're going to do that as well. Um, yeah, there, she's still laying them. They've got probably between two and 300 there, I'm guessing. Maybe more, maybe less, I'm not sure. But I started to count them, and I got 50, like, and it was really close to the bottom, and it was just a small little group. So I'm assuming there's a lot. I'm so excited for this. I've wanted to breed angelfish. I had them in another tank, in a bigger tank with more angelfish, and I was hoping they would pair up in there. And it was just weird that the two that I randomly grabbed that I wanted to add to this planted tank to go, it, they kind of go with the scape. So it's just crazy that, uh, you know, we got the female right there, the beautiful marble female. And then we got the, the striped male and their colors just have been coming out too so much in the last week or two. And, uh, it's kind of wondering, you know, they, they were looking so vibrant, but obviously they, they paired up. They were getting ready to spawn, you know, they were looking for a place to lay their eggs, you know, they were 
in full effect. So that's usually when the fish is colors, you know, they're going to come out more especially and then they're going to get real defensive. And, you know, when the fish get defensive, their colors come out a lot more too. And, but yeah, she has been a bit bigger in the last few weeks. I noticed she was fatter, but I mean, I do feed these guys well. And blood worms, you know, good stuff. Okay, so this is three days. This is day three. Okay, so technically two days after this, what you just seen. Now, we do have a lot of these white spotted eggs. Now, if you're wondering what they are, they are eggs that were not successfully fertilized by the male. Now, you know, it's not his fault. It's not anybody's fault. It could be water parameters. It could be also many sorts of other things, but that's the main thing is that they did not get fertilized. Now, with new parents, new fish pants, you might have a perfect, super successful, giant batch of eggs your first try, but nine times, you know, a lot of times, um, these, new, these new parents, they're not going to know how to do it right. So, you know, they're doing the best. You know, they're still on these eggs. They only leave them ever for a split second to go get some food or something, and they come back. They're right on it, especially her. He, he wanders off a lot, but she's always right there. So I've been having to feed the other fish on the other half of the tank, and then I'm feeding them over there, you know, so they're just right there. Once these babies start popping out, I'm going to be taking them, and I'm going to pop them into a, uh, I got a small five gallon right next to it, next to this tank, and I got it set up. You know, I grab some water out of here, um, top of some new, new water, and I'm cycling them. So I got this ready, and as soon as these guys start to really pop out, um, you know, they're going to be wigglers at first. But as soon as they're a free-swimming fish, these, you know, I'm hoping, that, you know, these fish have been such good parents so far that I'm hoping, you know, it's just like everything's nature, natural. They do it automatically, you know. I'm hoping they're going to be real good and take care of these babies. But I'm going to take them out. Um, I'm going to say sometime in the next week, I'm assuming. Uh, yeah. As soon as they're a good size, you know, I'm going to pop them in the five gallon. <clears throat> but yeah, um, I'm going to start to wrap this video up. But uh, yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching. You know, if you like angelfish, if you like breeding fish, uh, if you like fish tanks in general, if you like plants, you know, like this channel. You know, give this video a, a like and uh, subscribe to the channel for us, you know. And if you have any tips or pointers about breeding angelfish or anything like that, please feel free to drop it in the comments. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, I'm going to do an updated video uh, as soon as we get some fish swimming. If we get some eggs, if make it to babies, we get some fry. See you guys later.